everybody and welcome back with CAC. Uh, today I'm doing the follow-on from the last video uh, which was Eastern slash Asian snacks and today I'm going to be doing the drinks edition. Um, so I've got the drinks set out here uh, from the same websites as last time. I'll uh, put up uh, links to those in the description and at the end of the video. Uh, so let's uh, go through what I've got. We have today Nest tea, a coffee drink, sarsaparilla drink, vanilla latte, and black water. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with the Nest tea drink. Uh, this is from China, um, and well, I suppose it's iced tea. Um, I know that iced coffee is a thing that uh, we're kind of used to. Um, but I don't think I've ever actually seen iced tea, or at least cold tea served in a can before. It is milk tea, so... So let's uh, try this. Hmm, it's interesting. It's um, the tea is it tastes like it's got a little bit of lemon in it. Um, and I know lemon iced tea is a thing that you can get, but lemon iced tea with milk in is a bit different. Um, it's not. Um, it doesn't taste like it's sweetened a lot, but um, there is some oh. there is like a little bit of um, sweetness in there, but not hmm, it's odd because um, maybe it's just the fact that you don't expect to have milk tea cold but um unusual that. Um, but yeah, uh, if you like iced tea and if you like milk tea then it's worth giving it a try, Nest tea there. Um, Nest tea, as you may think, um, from the company Nest Cafe, obviously cafe being the coffee option, but um, yeah, it's a bit of an unusual one that, but uh, not unpleasant, so yeah, give it a go. Okay, next I'm going to go with the um, coffee drink here, this is a Caramel Frappe uh, from 78 Celsius. Uh, I'm assuming that maybe that's the temperature that it was brewed at. Uh, this is from Indonesia. Um, and I like caramel fraps. I like iced coffee, so let's give this a go. Ooh, Ooh yes, that smells really good. Mmm, yes. The um, caramel has that sort of like rich, toasty flavour. Um, and it's a little bit sweet, but not like overpoweringly sweet. And again, the coffee is a very rich, strong flavour as well. And it's just blended really nicely. So. Mm, yes, that is really good. So that's uh, Copico, 78 Celsius. Very nice. That one. Yeah, definitely recommend picking one of those up if you're able to get one. Uh, next up, uh, something I've never actually tried before is uh, the sarsaparilla, Hey Song sarsaparilla. I have no idea what sarsaparilla is, uh, so this will be a new experience for me. And this is from Taiwan. Um, okay. Let's pop this one open. Ooh, there we go, very fizzy. Okay. Mmm, very sort of fruity sort of smell to it. But, um, let's give it a taste, see what the taste is like. Ooh. And that kind of tingles your tongue. Um, that's kind of got a herbal flavour to it. Yeah, oh, 
I know that taste, I just can't quite put my finger on what it is. But, um, looking on here it doesn't say, all it says is like caramel flavours, but no, there's some, something herbal in there. That I... I'll tell you what it tastes like. It tastes a little bit like Listerine. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not as strong or as minty as that, but that kind of that, that kind of herbal tanginess in there, that's what it tastes like. And so, mm, yeah, that in a drink, it's kind of yeah, kind of really refreshing. And it's new. It's it's definitely something we don't get here regularly, so it's not like a taste that's widely available. But um, yeah, that's really good. So. Um, sarsaparilla, hey song sarsaparilla, um, <clears throat> try it, because, um, you know, in the UK we don't really get any flavours like this, so yeah, um, go for it, give it a go, it's weird, a bit unusual, not what I'm used to, but it's good. Okay, so uh, next up uh, I have another coffee, this one is the Boca Vanilla Latte drink, uh, this one is from Singapore. So, yeah, this is another canned iced coffee drink. Yeah, a nice little pop open there. Well, it looks a bit dark for a, like a latte drink, but... Uh, hmm. It's um, not as sweet as the caramel one, which I suppose is to be expected. But um, it's rather mild and smooth, like the coffee isn't as strong either, so it's like... Yeah, just sort of like a mild, mellow, iced coffee. Um, nothing too strong or sweet or overpowering, so um, yeah, it's just... Yeah, just very mild and creamy. I can't say much else other than that. It doesn't really taste excessively vanilla-y, but um, it's good. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, Poca Vanilla um, Coffee. Very nice. Okay, and the last one for today uh, is the um, Black Water Drink. Uh, this one is also from China. Um, I decided to pick this up just because I've seen it on the internet before. Just Apparently it's just mineral water, but it's coloured black with like, um, uh, like the caramel syrup. You know, like, um, how Coca-Cola is black. Apparently that's what colours it, but it's actually mineral water, I think. But, um, let's take a look. I don't actually know what this is called. Uh, where are we? Yi Neng Black Water with blueberry. Ooh, yes, sir. Yeah, the blueberry there. Lovely. Okay, so... Let's give this a taste. It doesn't seem carbonated, so yeah, I think it is just water. Mm, it smells fruity. Okay, so, uh... Mmm! That is actually quite a strong flavour as well, to say that it's apparently just flavoured water. But, um... Yeah. That's really good, really sweet. Yeah, the fruity flavour in that is really strong, so... I suppose it's not as much mineral water as they say it is, because, you know, there seems to be like a lot of preservatives and colourings and flavourings in it, but, um... But yeah, it tastes pretty good. And, um... Yeah. And it's a bit of a unique thing to just, like, have black water, but, um... Yeah, that's pretty good, though. Nope. And there's, like, black things on the label as well, black pictures, which I suppose become visible as you drink it. And you more there. But, um, yeah, that's actually pretty good. So, again, what was it called? Yi Neng Black Water. So, yeah, I'd uh, say so try it out because it is quite tasty and it also looks cool. So, you know, it's a uh, good one. Okay, so that's it for this video on the drinks. Um, pretty much all of them I think I'd recommend, except possibly for the tea one, but that's mainly because cold milk tea isn't, it doesn't quite register in my brain for me, so it wasn't one that I, um, enjoyed that much, 
but uh, again, it wasn't a bad taste, but just that it was unfamiliar and a bit weird for me. Um, everything else was really good. The coffee ones were both really nice, especially the caramel frappe, the um, 78C one. That was good. Uh, the sarsaparilla was also good because, as I say, I've never tried that before and it was just like um, something new and uh, it turned out really nice. Uh, so, yeah, um, everything else really good and I definitely recommend. I'll put up the, um, the websites in the outro and I'll put the link, uh, links uh, down in the description as well. So check them out and, you know, see what you can pick up of your own. Um, so, until the next video, thank you for joining me for this one. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.